tabs, you want to unpress each one. And once you get to the last one, you should be able to lift the assembly out like that. Drain this out. Look at this. And I'll also show you guys the carnage of what happens when your tail light gets full of water. You don't realize it's full of water until it's been in there for too long and then this happens. So if you can't see it, yeah, all that corrosion. See that? All that corrosion. So these bot this bottom row is no longer operable. I was waiting to get this new assembly in to do this tail light install, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now and hopefully uh, it looks good. That was easy. Oh wow, those look really good. Nice are like, shall we? Upside down, I caught it, barely. Right. We're back working on the M235i. And yes, I am working on the same exact tail light that I already repaired because of my own mistake. So when I repaired that tail light the first time, I ended up cracking the housing of the lens and that allowed water in, water got in. It sat in there for way longer than it should have. It ruined the socket. Here we are again for round two and we're gonna be putting on a brand new light bulb socket. Same exact one, this is straight from the BMW dealer. Um, although we also have to rewire the connector for said tail light because uh, it decided to corrode on to the old one, the one that's on the car right now, and it won't come off. So I'm gonna have to cut it off, repin this new connector, and then we'll be able to be back in business. So that is the, what we're doing today is we are redoing the tail light again um, with new bulbs, new socket, and a new harness connector. And it should be back in business. We should have a working tail light again. And then we can really, really showcase um, the awesome reverse lights that I got from Oxito. So thank you so much, Oxito, for the sponsorship. We really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, let's get right to it. Now, some of you may know this, some of you may not. Yes, I am a skateboarder. And yes, I do still skate. That's why this board is in my trunk still. So we gotta take this stuff out so we can get to the battery. It'll be right there. Cool. And here you can see just what happened to the tail light due to the water damage, all that corrosion. It blew out all these bulbs down here. As you can see that's no longer good. And then it corroded. These top ones still work, but you can see it is moist. It has got some moisture in there. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and swap this out. So these bulbs on top are still good. These are the our Oxito sponsorship bulbs right here. Just making sure this goes in the right spot. There we go, just like that. It's got some corrosion on it, but it still works, so we're going back in. There we go. So now we got those three bulbs transferred over. Go ahead and take this one out so it doesn't break. I think this one was stuck, is what it was. Yeah, this one seized. That's that's not gonna work. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our picture of the orientation. So it should be like this. Alright. Top side. Oops, bottom side. 
Go ahead and cut. There's no going back now. It's always scary doing that. New pins, four set connector, and then the grommets so they stay inside. Guys, I recommend if you do wiring, automotive uh, wiring, wiring any type, these wire um, strippers and crimps on one tools come in really handy. Makes it a breeze. Kind of hard to mediate how much you're cutting it sometimes, but it it, it is a, a game changer. My tool doesn't seem to be working. There we go. This is a Ryan Little production. All right, so what we're going to do is we got to spin on these grommets. There we go. So I'm going to put grommets on all the wires first. So I think I may have gotten shafted on that one grommet that's missing. So I'm going to take it from this wire. It won't focus on it because I already have this wire installed right here. So. Um, because I don't need to use the wire, but I need the grommet. Hopefully it's the same size. It looks to be the same size. died while I was doing the wiring and pinning um, and I didn't want to stop to change the battery but I just changed the battery I have the new connector Let's see you guys. so I've got the new connector right here it's been installed and I pulled the tap up all the pins are locked in currently so we're gonna lock this down all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug her up reconnect the battery give her a test that's right. All right. That's good. What I ended up doing, because I didn't cover it on video because I was working, is I ended up pulling out the old connector and I removed one of the pins and I repurposed it on the new one. So you see all the corrosion built up there? That's why it was stuck. Even if you look at the old one, you can see that it's all corroded that hole and that's why it was stuck so it's a good thing I changed the connector and the socket because that corrosion is bad but I was able to save one of the connectors it wasn't that bad the actual pin itself and that's how we got this done It's working. It looks like it's working actually. Get the break up times. Alright, so 
so far I think it's working. You guys saw it before I, I did, so I'm gonna go back and watch the footage now, but it looks like it's working. Now we're done taking care of the tail light, now it's time to move up front. I'm gonna be swapping out the belt, and I'll show you why once I get the older one off. So, let's get that old belt off now. I... SD card died while I was doing the install on the belt. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I did want to show you the old belt and why I changed it so soon, because I just changed this belt for those of you that don't know. It's only been maybe a year or so, but that, see that? The belt itself was getting eaten and worn through, and so that's the little belt cord showing, which means the belt could have separated and left me stranded at any given moment, so went ahead and replaced the belt once I noticed it was doing that. And I'll show you what was causing that. It's designed, I don't know if you guys can see it, but all the way down there, right here, the heat shield is, and it kind of like kicked, I'm my finger, it kicked down um, towards the belt right there on the AC compressor right here. So I had to bend this back towards the right side, towards the fender, and that is gonna keep it away from the belt, that way it doesn't dig into the belt and ruin my brand new belt. So that's gonna save, let's save, that'll prevent it from happening again. So I went ahead and changed the belt. Right, so that is gonna wrap this video up. Big thank you, big shout out to Oxito. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video for the reverse lights, the LED reverse lights. They look fantastic, the packaging was great. They went together just great actually. And they're very bright, they're very vibrant, they look nice. And I can tell it did actually help when I'm reversing. I can see a little bit more behind me. And that says, says a lot for a, small, a car with small windows and dark tint. So big thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Oxito. That is the channel's first ever sponsored part, first ever sponsorship of any kind. And I'm stoked. I'm excited. It's the beginning of big things for us here. So I just wanted to say big thank you. I did notice, yes, when I put the decal on the car, I realized as I was putting it on that it is a black text sticker on a <laughs> on my back window, which is black because it's tinted. So you can't really see it from afar, but you can see it up close. And it does give it this really cool ghost effect. And then of course their yellow logo pops out. So that's a nice touch too. It looks good, especially up close and from far away, you can't really see it, but you can see the logo. That's all that matters. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. Uh, my official review for the lights, this is it. Um, I've been driving with them now for a few weeks and like I said, it looks bright. I get compliments from friends and people at car meets when I'm reversing it in. They're like, man, those reverse lights are pretty cool. Where'd you get them? Oxito. So I'll link them down below for anyone else looking for LED upgrades for their car. They've got lights front, back, side to side. So headlights, tail lights, side markers, interior lights, they got you covered. Really good quality, really fast shipping on turnaround time as well. So if you need lights, Oxito is your pal. I was going to say man, but pal. Keep it uh, gender neutral, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. I really do appreciate it. I know it's been a while since I've done something like this, and we are getting back to it more consistently. And yes, I've seen the comments. The 5.3 is still here. It is still going to be finished. That is coming up next. Very, 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 maybe not next, but that is coming up very soon. So thank you guys so much. Remember to go out there, do something awesome. Peace.